Hello, everyone. It's Ed and Jeff, Three Minute Fox, the Sports Brothers here with the Honorable Mayor Oliver Gilbert of the City of Miami Gardens. And we are here today for a very, very special occasion. Coming up in about a week and a few days, the City of Miami Gardens celebrates the 11th annual Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival. And we're here to talk to the mayor all about it. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing today? Yeah, you know, it's always good to be hanging out with y'all. Y'all are really, really just, <laughs> besides the, 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 the show, you're just good guys. And I appreciate you all coming out to the City Hall. We appreciate you having us. And uh, we wanted to come out here uh, just to bring, you know, there's a lot of light around the, the festival as it is. And we wanted to come here on an informal type of business. We know we're, we're, we're dressed up, but we wanted to come and kick it with the mayor and just ask him some questions and give him, get some insight on the uh, Jazz in the Gardens Festival that's been going on once again, the 11th annual. Um, yeah. Tell us what your favorite part of Jazz in the Gardens is. Well, first, let me say this is, this is my casual look. Okay. Oh, okay. That's right. My bad. <laughs> he is the one of the most dapper mayors in the in the city. I'm telling you. Ja Jazz in the Gardens. It, people will concentrate the artists that's coming. We have great artists coming this year. Usher, Aretha Franklin, Babyface, Chanel Monet, Fred Hammond, Brian Culberson, Cool in the Gang, Regina Bell. We have great artists. You know, but it's not just what happens on the stage, it's what happens in the audience. Mm -hmm. So the environment, it's actually electricity. If you ever just walk through and just walk through the aisles and just interact with people when they're listening to the music, when they're dancing, even in intermission, when the DJ is playing and they're dancing with strangers or they're dancing with a friend, when they're eating the wonderful conch, all the seafood, all the fried food, which might not be good mm -hmm. for you, but it's good to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, all, it, it really is, it's, it's the experience. So it's not just a concert, and I tell people that all the time. It's not really just a concert. It's an experience. It started 11 years ago with a couple of people in a small stage, a couple hundred people in a small stage in a parking lot. And it's grown to something that's much bigger and much more you know, exposed, and it brings people from much further away. Yeah. But ultimately, it's still us in Miami Gardens having fun with each other and having fun with the visitors. I like what you said about building an experience. Um, you know, a lot of outdoor festivals, and you've probably been around a lot around the United States, they are just that. You talk about the Essence Festival, you talk about the Funk Festivals, they are an experience. It's not just come down, sit down, listen to music. What's one of the th key things you think adds to that experience? Or one of the things that as you guys have planned this, uh, this festival, you say, hey, let's do this so we can make it more of an experience? Well, I, I think the courtyard, the food courtyard, w one thing, and having the open area. A lot of times when you're confined, places you feel a little confined. When you're in open areas, you know, we have seats that you can buy and we have general seats in general admission, but then we also have place where you can just come and bring your own chair, set up your own area and lounge with your own friend. And that type of openness, that type of, you actually make yourself at home at this festival. So when you make yourself at home, you're there with your family and your friends. It's like you're having your house party at the stadium with thousands of other Backyard people. party with yeah, a couple thousand folks. I was about to think that, uh, you know, I was actually thinking that R. Kelly has a song, Backyard Party, and that's exactly uh, what it feels like at Sun Life Stadium when we've had these events. The thing is, I promised the fans on the radio show that the first question that I would ask you is, you've done such a great job with this festival. Can you help us with the Dolphins? Can you help us with the front office with the Dolphins? Well, you know what? Listen, I, I talked to the, 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 the management over there today, and, and I told them the fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. <laughs> and so we're all, we're all going to be praying for them. The yeah, Dolphins, my Dolphins, look, yes, the, the, the best thing about the Dolphins is that you know, they, they, they keep you in prayer, first of all. So they keep you going to church. <laughs> um, but, but they're always right there. And this time I think they're going to take the extra step. We, we have a defensive line that – that kind of underperformed this year, but we know they have talent. Mm -hmm. So, and they're bringing in more talent. They brought in Mario Smith. So we know that we're going to be able to get the, the, the quarterback a little bit. Uh, we got a, a good linebacker that's young and aggressive that's coming in. You know, we have pretty good safeties back there. And so I, I think that the Dolphins are going to be fine. We just have to believe in them. We have to give them that energy. And they got to play as a, as a unit. Sometimes out there, it looked like they weren't necessarily playing as a unit. One team, one goal, all your might for the entire game. And, and I live with the consequences. I live with the outcome. I think we could use him in the locker room. I mean, that, that, that's pretty inspiring, pretty inspiring stuff. Jazz in the Gardens, the year 11, um, it's like you keep reinventing yourself. Every, every time I think I've seen the best one yet, you do it again. It's like doing another Thriller album. You can only do great things like that once. How do you, how do you keep reinventing Jazz in the Gardens 
and exceeding what you did the year before. We don't reinvent it, the, the patrons do. So we respond to them. So they, they send emails and Facebooks and they stop me in Walmart and they stop <laughs> Bernita in Walmart and they stop us in the restaurant and they give us their ideas. And so the, what you see now, you see Usher, one of the most explosive entertainers on the planet. You see Aretha Soul, who is extraordinary. We will have a legend on our stage this is Saturday of Jazz in the Gardens. She is a legend. She helped create, you know, th just the music that everybody's singing right now. They wouldn't be them if she wasn't her. She right. did that. And, and so we listen to people. We, they, they tell us they want jazz. Listen, they love Brian Culberson. Come on back, Brian Culberson. Cool in the gang, it's like your parents when they had that party that you were supposed to be in your room, right. but you came down from your room right. and yeah. you were dancing and you, everybody was singing, celebrate mm -hmm. good times. E everybody. So it, it, it's this really baby face when you talk about somebody who either wrote or produced the, the, the major number one hits in, in, the, in the 1990s and the 2000s. Babyface. I mean, so we, we listen to what they said and we try to mold the festival because ultimately we're trying to create a good experience for you. Absolutely. Ed just talked about some of the other festivals around the country that goes on. What makes the city of Miami Gardens so unique and so different? It's us doing it in our hometown. I mean, I, I've been to Essence and Essence is cool. Uh, I, I liked it. Um, but it, it was the Essence Festival in New Orleans. This is Miami Gardens. This started off literally as a backyard party. Mm -hmm. A, a little concert with some people and they had to give away tickets the first year and and now it was really now this is the rest of the world inviting you to our party so like we at our parties in our backyards we like to have kunk and fried fish yeah. and fried chicken we like to get up and dance wherever we want to we, we we like to do those things we like to sing along and that's what we're doing we're just doing it with thousands of people from around the country <laughs> with the Honorable Mayor Oliver Gilbert of the City of Miami Gardens. You mentioned the stadium, uh, we mentioned the Dolphins. Um, should the city, or should patrons have any concerns about the stadium, beams falling down, any of that dirt and all that stuff? It's completely safe. I've been over there. Um, it's, it's completely safe. The work, the work is far away from where we're where? going to be having a concert. It, it does. It, it's made it a little smaller. So there, there. This Jazz in the Gardens will probably be smaller. Our footprint is going to be somewhat smaller. Tight like this? No, not a, <laughs> few, fewer people. Fewer people because our footprint is smaller. Our footprint is smaller. The next couple of years in the stadium is going to be a task. But they're committed to us being able to keep the festival going through the time they're renovating. And so as they, you know, this this time we're where we are. The next time we next year we might be. On the other side, it depends on how the staging goes. So we work with them. They're good partners. I pass it every day, and I, I marvel at what's going on, first of all. Yes. And I can't wait to see that canopy and, and everything on that stadium finished. It's going to be really, really. It's going to be a lot. Ed. It's incredible what they're doing. I, you know, I, I look back and think that when I went to FAMU, I should have been an engineer because th th these guys who are doing this stuff over there have to be just absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And so it, it's they have all the cranes up there. They have people coming out in and out, out of there every day. And when, when they're done, it's going to be an extraordinary facility. Who are you looking forward to seeing the most this year? Oh, Usher. Usher, yeah, yeah no, Usher. I, I'm looking forward to, you know, I like Cool and the Gang. I, I like Babyface. But Usher, just for sometimes we don't, we don't necessarily fully appreciate the contemporaneous people who are performing with us. Mm -hmm. uh, Usher, when you look back 10, 15 years from now on what he was doing in this time span, which span, what you're going to find is when you start talking about people who can sing and people who can dance and people who can put on a show, there's nobody out there doing it better. Usher is definitely going to, and he headlines, of course, yes, right yeah. on Sunday. So that's going to be great to see that the the Jazz in the Gardens, 11th annual Jazz in the Gardens right here in the city of Miami Gardens. I'm looking forward to it, Jeff. Of course, the mayor. Uh, you're going to set out, uh, what, what do you guys, the Q-Dogs call it, a, a step, a hop? A hop. I'm, I'm not going to hop. No? No, uh, no, not, not, not. I think you say that every year, but then you end up no, getting on stage. No, I, you know, it's just a little, the, 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 the spirit starts to move you, yeah. the shoulders yeah. starts to go on, and, but then, you know, they remind me, you know, hey. Well, you're the most you're the most out, most swagged out mayor that I've seen anywhere. So this guy comes to the uh, the food truck invasion, gets on stage and sings. Don't get shy in front of a couple thousand people now. Well, you know, yeah. well, look, I'll whip in Nene if you all do it with me. <laughs> Anybody? What? Uh, <laughs> Ferris, Ferris, no. No? no, no. no? You good? Yeah, we're, all right, we're, then we're good. We're, we're good. We'll save it for Jazz in the Gardens. Save it for Jazz in the Gardens. I'll see you all at Jazz in the Gardens. Come out March 19th, March 20th, Sun Life Stadium.
come to our party and party with us. Real quick, any other events, pre-events that are leading up to yes, the... Uh, the open night party on Friday night at Club Iguanas and the Women's Impact Luncheon at Turnberry. Their tickets available at jazzandgardens.com. Both are extraordinary events. It's going to be an extraordinary weekend. All right, and tickets are available, of course, at jazzandgardens.com. Yes. So yes. go there, get your tickets. If you haven't, uh, I don't know what you're waiting on, but get your tickets. Jazz in the Gardens, the 11th annual, March 19th and 20th, right here in the city of Miami Gardens. We'd like to thank the mayor. Uh, we'd like to thank Circle of One Marketing and thank the city uh, for allowing Ed and Jeff up in the offices. We're going to turn the cameras off and play in the big chair for a little while. Ah, thank you, guys. Okay.